How's it going guys? Welcome to a, I guess it's my desk. Well, that laptop I talked about a long time ago. I figured I'd give an update on it and reveal the, the setup. The desktop I used to have here. Um, Movo started having some weird issues, so I got it on the bench in the other room and I decided to get this temporary setup going here. I just want to say that I previously complained that Windows wasn't working right on it and it turns out it was the, the dongle thing was actually the problem, it was just flaky. So I trashed it and got a couple better ones. Uh, one really, I just got a really basic USB one that works great. And I've got one that has a, more of a multi-port so I could get HDMI hooked up. And of course I got the vertical monitor going. And I decided to also just go ahead and get my other laptop going. And just to, just to have a TV going, play music, that sort of thing up there. It's nice to have a laptop that can dock and that can like flip and be a screen. I actually was intending on hooking up two screens because this actually has two HDMI ports, but it turns out that my other two HDMI cables are Walmart Serta chair, which I actually kind of hate at this point. But uh, yeah, here's the stuff. I know, not the best lighting in the world. This is the HP monitor that I opened a while back. Uh, there's a video of it, of the unboxing and setup of everything. But I just wanted a nice vertical monitor. And it's a really cheap monitor. It's only like a hundred bucks. So, got the keyboard and mouse. And there it is, flipped. I'm still running. MX Linux on this thing, doing some programming here, trying to figure out material loading for my game. This is another more development laptop that I actually don't use much because it has some special Quadro graphics card and I just can't get Linux on it very easily. I got a few more ideas to try though. And I have it hooked up to this screen for watching stuff and whatever. Got a little uh, thing down there to put my feet up on. And this here is a battery backup that everything is plugged into. It was really more for my desktop, but I'm just going to leave it here. And I'll show you where the old desktop went. So, yeah, you have entered my uh, obvious work in progress room where just all my extra stuff goes. And this is sort of my bench for anything that's getting currently worked on. So yeah, this is, this is my old build. This is what I've been using for years and years. And I've just got it hooked up to a single monitor here just for a little demo purposes. And this is an Obsidian 250D case. I love this case. Everything's actually been pretty great about this. Um, but it's been, this thing's been flaky for years, but it's been decently consistent. I got this cheap mini ITX motherboard in here and I think it's the fail point. You can't really see it too well here. Yeah, there it is. So this motherboard, it seems like, as far as I can tell, it's something about these RAM slots. Because if I reseat the memory, it'll work for several months. And then if, I don't know, if it gets jarred a little bit, it'll just, like, start crashing. So, graphics card fits in this little mini ITX case. I love it. Um, I wish I got a bigger cooler. This cooler is not big enough for my CPU in here, so that's kind of been annoying. I usually have to throttle it down a little bit just so it doesn't get super, super hot. Um, but at this point, if I'm going to switch out the cooler, I'm going to switch out the motherboard. It's, it's just been acting flaky. I'm pretty sure it's it. I've replaced most of the parts. I've reseated most of the parts. I've confirmed they're good otherwise. So really the only thing left is the motherboard, and it's really hard to uh, troubleshoot intermittent issues. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I might just tear it all down and build a little Linux machine or something that just runs in this case because I definitely want to keep this case. I love this case. Things you can't even see down there. There's like four hard drives down here. There's a uh, power supply down there. So it's just got everything. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I was running with three monitors for the longest time. But now I'm just using that little laptop. Back to the back to the laptop. So 
so yeah, this is going to be my setup for now. I'm just going to be programming on Linux. Pretty nice machine to put Linux on. Alright, quick little update on the desk. I did get the second monitor hooked up, so uh, that is pretty sweet. Um, so now, uh, yeah, I'm still using the little laptop. I just have it sitting back here. I know my cable management is not the best. I don't know if I'm going to worry about it too much. It's mostly hidden anyway, but... Uh, yeah, this is sort of a temporary setup, as you may have guessed by the cheap Walmart table. And oh god, yeah, those cables look hideous. All right, so, so let's not worry about that. But um, yeah, so actually, I found out I can actually have three monitors with this thing. If I leave this one on, it, it does uh, turn on all three, so that's pretty cool. Three monitor support is pretty interesting, especially just through USB C. So that's what this thing is, HDMI, HDMI. I guess the other cables I was using were like an old version of HDMI, as far as I could tell. So I've got to get the newer versions uh, to support these newer monitors and all that cool stuff. So just thought I'd give an update that that is now the setup. This laptop over here is still just the same thing. It's really just here to run the TV. There's no other reason for it. So, all right, well, hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk more tech.